What lies beyond the edge of our world? Could it be that we're part of something far bigger? Something like a multiverse? In movies like Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, we've seen wild, creative interpretations of this concept. But today, we're diving into the science behind the question. What is the multiverse, and how likely is it that we're living in one? Stanford physicist Andre Linde once said, Our understanding of reality is not complete, by far. Reality exists independently of us. So, if other worlds do exist, they're separate from ours, unreachable and undetectable, at least for now. That's why some scientists are skeptical, questioning if the search for the multiverse is scientifically valid at all. Will we one day discover that our universe is the only one in existence? Or could there be endless worlds with endless possibilities? Stick with us as we dive into different multiverse theories and explore whether there's another version of you out there. The multiverse is the idea that our universe isn't the only one. Instead, there could be many other universes existing at the same time as ours. Each one could be completely different, with its own set of rules, types of matter, and maybe even life. Think of it like a giant library filled with books. Each book represents a universe, and we live inside one of those books. We know our own story, but there are countless other books, or universes, with different stories that we haven't read or discovered yet. Here's an example. Imagine you're playing a video game where every time you make a choice, the story changes. If you choose to go left instead of right, the game takes you on a different path. Now picture each of these different paths as separate universes. In one universe, you go left, while in another universe, you go right. Both exist, but you're only aware of the one path you're currently on. The multiverse theory is similar, suggesting that all these paths or universes exist at the same time, but we only experience one of them. Now we can understand why things in our universe, like the force of gravity or the speed of light, seem perfectly set for life. If there are endless universes, maybe only a few have the right conditions for life, and we just happen to live in one of them. Now, why do scientists even think the multiverse is possible? A lot of it comes down to the strange discoveries we've made about our own universe. For example, the Big Bang Theory suggests our universe had a beginning, but what came before that? Some scientists argue that our universe might be just one in a long chain of universes, each born from the death of the previous one in a cycle called eternal inflation. There's also quantum mechanics, which deals with the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. In this field, Particles can exist in multiple states at once, leading some scientists to wonder if entire universes could exist in different states, forming what's called the many worlds interpretation. There are several key theories that attempt to explain the multiverse, and the first one is bubble universes. Imagine the universe expanding rapidly after the Big Bang. In this theory, new universes, or bubbles, keep forming and expanding separately from ours. Each bubble could have different laws of physics, and we're living in one of these bubbles. Another theory is many worlds interpretation. In quantum mechanics, particles can exist in different states at once until observed. 
This theory suggests that every decision we make or event that happens creates a branching universe, meaning there could be infinite versions of us, each living a slightly different life. The next is brain or string theory. String theory suggests that our universe exists on a 3D brain, a membrane-like object within a higher dimensional space. There could be other brains floating nearby, each representing a different universe, possibly interacting in ways we can't yet understand. Aside from the main multiverse theories, there are other interesting ideas out there. For example, in cosmic natural selection, black holes might spawn new universes, each with its own physical laws. There's also the holographic principle, which suggests our three-dimensional universe might be a projection of information stored on a distant two-dimensional surface. But if parallel universes exist, where exactly are they? This is one of the biggest challenges in understanding the multiverse. These other universes might be extremely far away, beyond what we can observe with our telescopes, or they could exist in dimensions that we can't even perceive. It's possible that they are right next to us, but hidden, because they follow different physical laws or exist in a space we cannot detect with our current technology. Think of it like radio stations. Right now, your radio is tuned to one specific station and you hear only that one. But there are many other stations broadcasting on different frequencies at the same time. You just can't hear them because you're not tuned in. Similarly, our universe could be like one station we're tuned to while other universes are like different stations, existing on different frequencies that we can't pick up. Imagine you're in a dark room with many other rooms around you. You can only see the room you're in because it has a light, while the others are completely dark. These dark rooms could be the parallel universes. They're there. But because we don't have the tools to light them up, we can't see or explore them. Scientists are working on new ways to try to detect signs of these parallel universes, but for now, they remain hidden and mysterious. One of the most fascinating and mind-bending parts of the multiverse theory is the idea of seeing different versions of yourself. Imagine this. In a parallel universe, there could be another you, but with a completely different life. Maybe in that universe, you chose a different career, live in another country, or made a small decision that changed your whole future. These different versions of you exist in parallel worlds, living out every possible path your life could have taken. One way this concept is explained is through the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. In this theory, every time you make a decision, the universe splits into multiple versions. For example, if you decide to eat pizza for dinner, there could be a parallel universe where you chose a salad instead. Now imagine every single choice you've ever made, big or small creating new versions of yourself across countless universes. This means that somewhere out there in the multiverse, there's a version of you who made completely different life choices. While this sounds like science fiction, scientists say we can't rule out the possibility. However, seeing or interacting with these other versions of yourself is much more complicated. The laws of physics, as we know them, prevent us from accessing other universes or meeting these alternate yous. It's like looking into a mirror, but instead of just one reflection, there could be an infinite number of mirrors reflecting different versions of you, each in a different world. But for now, these reflections 
are invisible to us. So, will we ever prove the existence of a multiverse? The truth is, right now, we don't have the tools or the knowledge to definitively answer that question. Some scientists believe that future discoveries in cosmology, quantum mechanics, or even advanced technology like the James Webb Space Telescope might give us clues. But until then, the multiverse remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of our time. Thanks for staying with us once again. 